Professor Dave and Chegg here. We just learned how to generate equilibrium expressions, focusing mainly on equilibria that involve aqueous species. But we can also have equilibria between gases, and this will slightly modify the way we formulate equilibrium expressions. So let's take a look at this as well. Let's say we are looking at the synthesis of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen gas, which is a reversible process. This will occur according to this equilibrium. This means that the equilibrium expression will look like this, where the exponents on these concentration terms come from the relevant stoichiometric coefficients. But remember that when we are looking at ideal gases, Avogadro's law tells us that one mole of any ideal gas will occupy the same volume, and thus in a rigid vessel exert the same pressure. Because it is impractical to measure concentrations of gases, it will therefore make more sense to express the equilibrium constant in terms of the equilibrium partial pressures of these gases. So let's change this bracket notation over to pressure terms, with the corresponding substances in subscript. In doing this, the equilibrium constant K will become not Kc, where the C stands for concentration, but Kp, where the P stands for pressure, since we are now dealing with partial pressures. Let's try an example. Here is an equilibrium involving the formation of nitrocele chloride gas from nitrogen monoxide and chlorine gases. Additionally, here are the partial pressures of all three gases at equilibrium at room temperature. What is Kp for this system at room temperature? Well, first we need the expression for Kp, which will be found the same way we arrive at Kc. Products go on top, so here that's the partial pressure of NOCl, and that will be squared because of this stoichiometric coefficient. Then on the bottom we find the reactants, so that's the partial pressure of NO, which will be squared, times the partial pressure of Cl2. This is our expression. Now all we have to do is plug in the values we were given for the partial pressures at equilibrium and do the arithmetic. 1.9 times 10 to the third is what we should get. We should note that K and Kp are not identical. They are actually related by this equation, where Kp equals K times the quantity RT raised to the power of delta N, where delta N is the change in the number of moles of gaseous particles from reactants to products. So for the ammonia synthesis, we start with four moles and end up with two moles, which means that delta N is two. So for this one, Kp equals K times RT squared. But for something else, like the synthesis of hydrogen fluoride gas from hydrogen and fluorine gases, we start with two moles and end with two moles. So delta N equals zero. That means this term reduces to one and Kp will be equal to K. This is a subtle point, but it is important to be aware of. And with that, we should understand how equilibrium expressions and equilibrium constants extend to describe the partial pressures of gaseous systems. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.